So my friend, he clued me in on these puzzles. They're called woodimals, and it's a puzzle. It's the animal, and then it, what the animal's name is makes up the animal. This is an elephant. So I thought it would be really fun to make it. I used a piece of poplar and just used spray glue 3M77 to glue the pattern to the wood. Then I just followed the lines and I cut out the pieces on the scroll saw. And I happened to use a number five blade. And the reason I picked that number five blade is because it was on my scroll saw already. I sanded the fuzzies off of the back of all of the pieces before I tried to put it together. Well, I tried to drill a hole in the A and it snapped in half, so I glued it. And now it's dry. Of course, the compressor had to go off right then. There were two pieces that required inside cuts, the P and the A. So that means drilling a hole and threading the blade, my favorite thing. So I did it anyway, and I got the inside of the A and the P cut out. Then I put it all together. It said to add a dowel, so I drilled a hole in the little base. And I used a little metal dowel center finder thing. I put that in the hole, and then I put the adjoining piece right over the top of it and pushed on it. And the center finder thing has a little piece that sticks up, and it makes a little dip in the adjoining piece of wood. And it worked great, and it showed me exactly where to put the center of my drill bit. I put the elephant leg piece in a little vise to hold it while I drilled the hole in that one. Then I glued that little dowel in the base. You really don't need to do this part to make this thing stand up if you don't want to, but I just thought it'd be really cool to see how it looks standing up. Then I sanded off all the paper with 220 on my flex drum sander. Then I tore off a corner of sandpaper and just sanded all those little pieces. Then I used a rag and a small brush to put on some Rubio Mono Coat. I had mixed this up already and I used it on something else, so I thought, well, I'm just going to put it on the elephant. It's an oil wax that has no volatile organic compounds, and it is fit for food. So this is great for little kids. I got a little impatient with the process, so I ended up just dipping the pieces into the little cup I had of the Rubio Monocoat, and that coated the pieces, and then after a few minutes, I wiped them down. Well, I had two concerns about this. One was whether these pieces were gonna fit after I put the finish on. And look at that, they fit fine. Woohoo! And then the other one was putting the wood burning on after the finish. But you know what? I tried it and it works. So I'm just going to wood burn in all these areas that they recommend on this elephant. So I burned in the elephant trunk lines, the eye, the elephant's ear, and some lines to separate the legs. And all of these are shown on the pattern. I put it all together and then I stood it up and I set it into that little dowel that's on the base. And there it stood. Yay! There it is, the elephant. Elephant! Elephant. Hey, so this project is pretty quick and easy to make and really cool. 
And I use the Rubio monocoat and that stuff is um, safe for food and ingestion and stuff. And there's no VOCs and all that bad stuff from it. So yay. So I can give this to a grandkid and not worry about them putting it in their mouth. Yay. Although, you know what? It's kind of hard to put together. I mean, the pieces fit, but as far as putting it together, I don't know. I think someone that will be able to do it won't be putting it in their mouth. Anywho, it's called Woodimals, and you can buy single patterns or you can buy an entire book. And that's what I did, and I put the link down in the description box. So I think they're cool, and there's a ton of them. So this was the first one I did. I look forward to doing a whole bunch more. So thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope you try making a Woodimal, and we'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>